you guys with the same spot again this is my favorite place to go though because I seem to be able to get in my thoughts here and get connected with my brain waves and whatnot aside from that one video I shot here man that was fucking horrible I think that was my first or second video I shot here not good but the rest have been nice right I think so so anyhow today I've come to a realization that it is time for the cigarettes to go and I've come to that realization because I, I can't stop thinking about the energy levels that I had back in early 2017. If you've been following me long enough, you know that I did a similar thing where I quit weed, uh, alcohol, and cigarettes simultaneously back in early 2017. Made it about 45 days uh, with all three gone, maybe a little more than that. But I had way more energy. Um, I was waking up at like you know 4.30 in the morning even though I went to bed at 12 and my alarm was set for 7 and I would just wake up like automatically 4.35, 5.30 at the latest and just like pumped with energy ready to go to the gym without even thinking about it. I still go to the gym every day, I still, I'm still active every day but sometimes I have to push myself to go and I have to like, ah, oh, fucking, oh, let's go. I feel like I could be further along in my workouts too. Obviously if you're a smoker you don't have as much um, lung capacity to handle you know being active consistently and stuff like that you can't go as far and there's also a little bit of a hangover with cigarettes too obviously it's different than a weed hangover or you know an alcohol hangover but there is a little bit of it but I've lessened obviously dramatically how many cigarettes I smoke because I'm not drinking and I'm not smoking weed those were huge catalysts for smoking cigarettes at some point I was at like a pack and a half a day when I was drinking really heavily recently, it was still around a pack a day, give or take. And now I'm down to like six or seven a day, um, you know. And a lot of it's, you know, I tell myself it's because of the uh, the job that I'm working. Like, you know, it's like I it's boring as shit and I want a break. So what do you do on break? You go smoke a cigarette. And it's also a crutch. It's also a coping mechanism. It's not as big of a coping mechanism as weed or alcohol is. But it's still a coping mechanism, you know, if I'm stressed or, you know, if my stomach is whatever, same with the weed shit. I thought, like, the only way to solve it was smoke a weed, dog. It's a natural remedy. You got more weed. Get your stomach pain go away. You know, poor shit. When I first quit weed, I was having a lot of stomach problems, and they and they were there prevalently. If you, if you go back and look at those videos for a good seven or eight days, I think. But I did finally beat it, and didn't have any more problems but it's all excuses and it is a crutch a definitive crutch for me um, to smoke cigarettes and it's like I'm it's like the one piece that I'm hanging on to of my old life obviously the smell you know you smell like shit when you smoke cigarettes and stuff like that but you don't really know because you smoke so you don't know there literally is no reason for me to to not quit and I know that it's all in my head the same as everything else and for anybody who's, you know, with me for inspiration, that holds true with any vice. Whatever the vice is, you're creating reasons. I'm creating reasons that it's not time to quit. I'm putting it off. I'm gonna quit soon, I'm gonna quit soon, I'm gonna quit soon. Well, why don't you fucking quit if you're gonna quit soon? You know what I mean? And it took me a while to get there with, uh, with weed and with alcohol, obviously, and now with cigarettes. It's the, the last thing that I've been Holding on to like a baby holding on to his blanket. But one of these days you got to grow up and you can't have a blanket no more. And I know that there's uh, a lot of haters out there. And they're fine, y'all can keep on hating. Because this train gonna keep going chew, motherfucking chew, y'all. One of my damn uh, signature phrases. I was watching an old video too. And I said, uh, sober and clean, know what I mean, or some shit like that. That should be another catchphrase I should bring back a little bit. What y'all think? What y'all think? Is that a good one? Is it a good one? I like it. I like it a lot. I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a success starting tomorrow. Um, I was trying to decide what I'm going to do with the rest of my cigarettes because I was thinking about throwing them away, but I also thought about like just going up to a random bar and be like, who wants these? 
or give them to a homeless man. I don't know. I'll probably just throw them in the trash. But I'm definitively done. And uh, it's going to be tough, but I'm going to document it. So I'm going to alternate because you know me. I got to hold myself accountable with YouTube. So I'm going to um, do like tomorrow, I'm going to do quitting cigarettes day one. And then the next day, I'll alternate and do quitting alcohol. I'm going to keep both of them going, but I'm going to rotate what I'm titling my videos so as to keep my mind engaged and hold myself accountable. Could I do any of this without YouTube? I don't know. What do you think? The jury's out, I guess. But anyhow, it's time to kick the bucket on them damn cigarettes, and it's going to happen. It's happening right now. I'm done. Believe it if you want to, or doubt it if you want to. It don't matter, because it's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, that's it. I appreciate all the positive feedback on my uh, radio fun time yesterday. I will be... Um, creating my own show at some point it's just going to be riffing talking about whatever um, it's not going to be like a scripted thing i'm not really going to have time blocks people can call in sure and that sort of thing and you know we'll see where it goes but i'm super pumped about that and i will be back at tan talk again in the couple next couple weeks to to co-host with uh with don reese one more time well this time we'll be co-hosting as opposed to being a feature so that's cool and then next month or two probably two months close to that i'll start my own show it'll be a hour segment once a week every week at the same time details on that will be in the future but in the meantime that's all for today one love real deal out you white in me again you white you'll be sorry but your tears will be too light